sodium fluoride, sodium silica fluoride, and fluorosilic acid, all used in dental offices, toothpaste, and water fluoridation, are toxic waste substances created from the creation processes in the fertilizer, steel, nuclear, and aluminum industries. These artificial substances should not be confused with the natural occurring fluoride element. Contrary to popular belief, fluoride used in fluoridation practices is not a pharmaceutical grade substance, but instead industrial toxic waste. When these industries were faced with the problem of how to legally dispose of the excessive amount of toxic waste they were producing, Alcoa, the aluminum company of America, the largest producer of fluoride at the time, hired the services of scientist Gerald J. Cox to discover whether fluoride could be beneficial for preventing tooth decay. Gerald Cox, with vested interest, concluded that since the natural fluoride element can help in preventing tooth decay, these poisonous chemicals can also. After the release of Cox's claims, the fluoride waste these industries produced began being trapped in the smokestacks of the factories, collected, put into barrels, and sold to municipalities to add to their drinking water. Before these industries were trapping fluoride emissions, the fluoride pollution was scorching vegetation, killing crops, and crippling livestock. Today, this very same toxic chemical is ingested by millions each day through public water supplies. While these industries solved their waste problems and began profiting, communities are now ingesting an extremely toxic chemical. Fluoride is also responsible for much more than just tooth decay. Dental fluorosis is a tooth condition caused by fluoride. Fluoride is the only contributor in the creation of dental fluorosis. Dental fluorosis shows up as white or brown spots on the teeth and can also break away and pit at the enamel. Dental fluorosis is typically caused by fluoride exposed to the teeth between birth up to the age of eight. As a result of the use of fluoride, according to the CDC, dental fluorosis is found in 32% of American children. In fact, the effect fluoride can have on developing teeth is so immense that the American Dental Association and Center for Disease Control both state that parents should not be using fluoridated water for their baby's drinking water or formula. Those with evidence of dental fluorosis can also count on having too much fluoride in other areas of the body as well. Skeletal fluorosis is also common when the bones become overfluoridated. Having too much fluoride in the body poses risks to the organs and greatly increases the rate of cancer. The fluoride story starts in 1939, when Alcoa, the aluminum company of America, then the world's largest producer of sodium fluoride, and the Dow Chemical Company transferred its technology to Germany. At the end of World War II, the US government sent Elliot Perkins, a research worker in chemistry, biochemistry, physiology, and pathology, to take over the chemical plants in Germany. Perkins quickly learned from the German scientists that they had devised a scheme during World War II using fluoride to medicate water in order to mind control the populations of cities they had taken over. It was found that fluoridation caused slight damage to a specific part of the brain and neurotransmitters, making it more difficult for the person affected to defend his freedom, causing the individual to become more docile towards authority. Hitler's eugenics program was no secret to anyone. The CIA quickly picked up where he left off, making the chemical control of an entire nation a main part of their research. As research completed by chemist Charles E. Perkins shows, any person who drinks artificially fluoridated water for a period of one year or more will never be the same person mentally or physically.
you have to begin to look at things for what they truly are. When we truly look at fluoride, we find that fluoride science was bought and paid for by the companies who were producing the most of it. It was a way for them to dispose of the toxic waste while profiting. Fluoride does absolutely nothing to prevent tooth decay. Not only does fluoride cause issues for the teeth and mental health, but is highly linked and sometimes the direct cause of cancer, kidney disease, thyroid issues, bone disease, arthritis, immune system deficiencies, and the lowering of IQ. In fact, 18 separate human studies have been completed in China, India, Iran, and Mexico that all conclude fluoride is the direct cause of lowering IQ. When it comes to drinking water, it can be quite difficult to avoid fluoride at times, as it is found in the majority of bottled water as well. Find out if your city water is fluoridated or not. If your city is not fluoridated, drinking tap water versus bottled water will allow you to avoid the fluoride. But this still isn't ideal, as tap water still contains chlorine and other chemicals that aren't good for the body. The ideal situation is to purchase a water filtration system that filters out both chlorine and fluoride. Some better than others, but some also more expensive than others. Make sure the filter is capable of filtering out fluoride. In terms of toothpaste, there are many types of toothpaste out there that do not contain fluoride. Next time you are at the store, check out the various natural brands that do not contain fluoride. You can also use baking soda to brush your teeth instead of toothpaste. At the end of the day, fluoride is so heavily defended by people and some professionals because they are simply going by what they have been taught. They assume that there is actual evidence to show that fluoride is good for us and that it's safe to use. This is the same mentality we have taken towards many other things in our current world. Gently approach your dentist with this information as well. Most professionals have no intention of harming anyone, they are only practicing what they have been taught. Many dentists have quickly changed their minds about fluoride once they have learned the truth about it. Finally, really think about why those in charge, who know full well what this chemical does, are putting it in our water. Use this same questioning when looking at other deceptions we have been fed.